Welcome to the farm. It's time to plant garlic here at the farm. We haven't had a lot of luck with garlic previous years. This last year we decided not to plant garlic because of that, right? We found a local farmer who grew this very garlic and is selling it here in our zone. And any opportunity that we have to support local, we will absolutely support local. And so we have two varieties that were grown here in the state of Iowa that we're gonna share with you and explain what we're planting and why. So stick around. This bed that we're putting the garlic in, uh, Ryan actually made it. Um, and we made three beds. Um, I know next season we're gonna try to add three more and continue to do that because um, it just gives us added space uh, that we can use for additional growing. Prep our beds, we actually, at the lower base of this uh, bed, we, um, we have some mulch, and then we also added some topsoil, and then we recently just added some uh, compost. Before, uh, in this bed, we actually had two different crops growing. We had potatoes that we grew in the very earlier part of the season. Um, we harvested those, and then we did a succession planting of romaine lettuce. And the romaine lettuce, we actually just pulled. Uh, it was already bolting, so we just kind of let it go. Um, so we just recently pulled that, added more compost. Um, I also added some uh, locally sourced uh, bone meal, which was awesome. Um, and again, you know, anything that we can buy local, we absolutely will. So we decided to grow this year uh, two varieties, they're hard neck varieties, um, for two reasons. First reason was we were able to get these local, like I had mentioned before, so I know it's proven that they grow here in our zone pretty well. And we wanted to try a hard neck variety. So we have German red variety and Spanish roja. Um, the Spanish roja is a like a gourmet garlic variety. Roughly we get about eight to nine cloves um, per garlic head. And then the red German is a little bit more of a spicier garlic, um, but very similar amount of cloves per the head. We're gonna get a dual purpose out of this garlic um, this season, and it's gonna be because the hard neck gives an edible uh, scape. So we're gonna be able to use the scapes and of course the garlic itself. So that'll be a bonus to have both. Um, also, about a year and a half ago, we grew uh, elephant garlic. And I will tell you, we struggled with that. We spent a lot of time growing it and um, it didn't actually come up the next season. The issue that we had was randomly coming up in our bed. So we decided not to do um, garlic that uh, this last season because of just kind of the struggles we had with that particular variety. Um, so getting this local and knowing that, um, you know, hard neck, these varieties are, are pretty hardy uh, for our zone. Um, it gives us peace of mind that, you know, just giving it a shot, try it again and see how it goes. But pretty excited about getting this garlic planted. All right, you guys, I basically got this bed all filled. I still have quite a bit left of the Spanish Roja that we're just gonna figure out where um, we're going to plant it. Um, we've got some ideas, so, but we definitely am excited to get this uh, all in the ground, um, especially as variety to our farmer's market table and also to our CSA shares. Well, will you look at there? I've got it watered. I've got the mulch in for the winter. Um, I did a pretty thick layer just because our winters are pretty harsh sometimes out here. Uh, so I think we'll be okay. I'm not gonna trouble it anymore. I'll let it go for the, for the season. And then of course into early spring, hopefully we'll see some shoots come up. And um, I'm looking forward for a dual purpose garlic here. So 
Um, I do have quite a bit of Spanish Roja still left. I have, a, I have a special spot for this in our greenhouse that I think I can use as a raised bed. We have quite a bit of the German Red um, to plant. I actually haven't even planted any of this yet. All of this bed is the Spanish Roja. So there's that. But we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna, I, I don't know, maybe Ryan will have to make another bed. Who knows? All right, you guys, thank you so much for sticking around. We hope you learned something. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and of course, you know, tell them who your friends are too. All right, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.